missed my videos the most? Definitely I did. The excitement of editing and filming. I was missing that so much. I'm in Berlin this time. My purpose of filming these videos is of course to document my journey for myself and also maybe sharing some experience with others who might find it helpful. Transportation system is a huge thing in such a big city as Berlin. People use bikes here, scooters. Of course, there's a lot of people going by bus or trams, but God bless Berlin for subway system. My best friend here is this guy. It's a month card. Yes, and it saves a lot of nerves for me and actually quite a lot of money. I never have a plan for a day, so I go at one direction, see one place and then I'm like, hmm, what should I do next? And then I decide to go to other direction and then to others, so I might travel like 10,000 places a day and this guy is really helpful because you can travel how many times you want with different transportation systems such as buses, trams, subways and that's so 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 helpful. If you can ride a bike it will be really cool and helpful because there's lots of people who use bikes. I was ready to surrender my heart to you Only you These lights all around me keep blinding my eyes from you And the truth Next one would be about things you can do in Berlin. You should probably know that Sunday is not a shopping day. If you come here on Sunday and want to get amazing shopping from Berlin, it will be really difficult. Of course, there's some shops open on Sunday, like some souvenir shops, because of course they consider a huge amount of tourists coming on weekends, but you should probably take another day to come for shopping, because Sunday is considered as more cultural day. A lot of places would be closed on Sunday. People go mostly to some cultural events, visit museums, go walk on the park, have a nice day with their families. German people are really aware of their history and that's something I really love about them. And there's so much information across the city about everything that happened in the past and you will get so much information and so much knowledge of history when you visit this city. There is actually a whole museum island in Berlin. If you're a museum person, you should go definitely see. So here comes my next best friend, and it's of course one euro. If you're a huge museum lover, you should always carry with you one euro or two euros. Some places take two euros as well, and I'm talking about lockers. For example, when I was at Berlin Dome, I bought a ticket and then went inside and they were no no lady you should put away your backpack to the locker I had cash in my purse but not one or two euro so I had to find a shop that could you know give me some change and that's a bit time waster actually and especially when you like came such a long way to a one museum and you're already tired and you just want to go in and not run around looking for some cash please guys take one euro always with you. Oh my god, churches. That's probably most beautiful churches I've seen. Um, you don't have to be religious to see all the beauty of interiors, that atmosphere inside the churches. That's just... Berlin has amazing nature. <laughs> I owe all 
of this to really special people who support me and believed in me and helped me to achieve my dreams. They know who they are. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!